Security has always been an issue for ports. Before the International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, that's the ISPS code, most ports arranged their security to meet the various challenges that existed in their ports, whether it be pilferage, unwanted access to the port facility. The Port Facility Security Code has introduced set standards and procedures that all ports have to adhere to to ensure the security of the port and the ship itself. It's the ship's responsibility and their watchkeepers to make sure that only people who are bona fide visitors to the ship get on board, so they are the last line of defence. The aim of this video is to emphasise the importance of the gangway as the designated point of access to a vessel. It will explain what makes an effective gangway security watch and show how the watch should comply with the relevant sections of the ISPS code. A gangway forms a junction between ship and shore and represents the easiest and most direct way to gain access to a vessel. Personnel crossing the gangway sometimes bring bags with them. Quite commonly, crew carry boxes of stores across a gangway. Unfortunately, people, bags and boxes all have the potential to be a security risk to the vessel and its crew. Good morning. Morning, sir. Welcome aboard. The watchmen need to be welcoming to any visitor, but must also demonstrate authority. May I see your photo ID, sir? Their duty as security watchmen means that they are acting on behalf of the vessel's master and as such have an important responsibility. Yeah. They should know that they have the full backing of the master at all times. What do we mean by security? Here is the security officer to give us a definition and explain what it means to him. I understand ship security as being able to live and work on board ship without danger or threat from others. I want all of us to be able to work and relax without fearing for our ship, our possessions or for ourselves. As far as you are concerned, day-to-day -day security starts at the gangway and of course with the gangway security watchman. The gangway is the official means of access. With the ship we see here, there is only one deployed. But on some vessels, such as cruise ships, there may be several, all of which require security measures to be in place. Fortunately, on cruise ships, there are enough crew members for this. Some vessels have a secure door at the top of the gangway, which restricts access to anyone coming up it. This type of arrangement provides a very high level of security, but arrangements must also be in place to provide for emergency situations. Now let's look at an everyday occurrence on a vessel in port. The gangway is down with a security watch in place and a visitor is in the process of boarding. The vessel may be working cargo, loading stores or just awaiting orders. In this case, we see a security watchman who is a member of the vessel's crew and the security checkpoint at the top of the gangway. What are the duties of the watchman and what should be made available to assist him in his job. Let us look at this visitor. Does his appearance and behavior raise any concerns? Does he look like a person who could have a genuine reason to board the vessel? Do not be fooled by appearances though. Looks can be deceptive. Do not let your guard down. Stick to your security procedures. Thieves will attempt to blend in, but you must be able to identify and intercept them. Visitors should present valid photographic identification, which the gangway security watchman should examine to verify their identity. To assist with the decision, there should be a list of expected visitors prepared by the agent or the vessel itself. It then becomes a relatively simple task to identify the person and match their name against those listed. Note, however, that individual port officials and surveyors may not be on the list or at least be listed by name. If there is any doubt, call the duty officer for further instructions. The watchman should ask the visitor a few questions for both safety and security purposes. He should confirm the identity of the visitor, that he is expected, his name is on the list of visitors, 
and who he is coming on board to see. Here's another visitor. Morning, sir. Welcome on board. What's your name and your purpose, sir? My name is Manoj Singh. I'm from Sea Supplies. I got some spares for the Chief Engineer. Sir, can I see your photo ID? Sure. There you go. Candle of Chief Engineer, yeah? That's correct. The watchman should now inform the visitor of the security level and a few other safety points. Ships will commonly have a set of passes, either clip-on or those which hang around the neck on a small lanyard. These will bear the ship's name, sometimes the company logo, and will be numbered. In this case, the ship Chandler is approved and issued with a pass. His name and the number of the pass are recorded in the gangway security logbook. Depending on your company procedures, there may be additional information required to be entered, such as who the person is visiting, the company they work for, or the organization they represent. They may have to sign for the pass. Okay, these guys will lead you to the, see the chief engineer. Okay, sir? All right, thank you. That was straightforward, but what happens if the visitor's name is not found on the list, although they still appear to have a legitimate reason for being on board? And here is another visitor. Good morning. Morning, sir. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Okay. Reverend Thomas Kincaid from the Mission to Seafarers. Okay, sir. An official photo ID card will identify both the person and the organization or company they represent. So in this case, we have a genuine but unlisted visitor. We have satisfied our concerns with regards to security and the Padre just needs to be given clearance to board. The unlisted visitor can now be signed in using the same procedure as the Chandler. Okay, thanks, sir. Okay. A very important aspect for any visitor is to become familiar with the safety and security on the vessel. The watchman may simply have a laminated safety card that the visitor needs to read. So this is the alarm and this would be my muster point and I'll return this to you when I leave. Yeah. Or they may have to direct the visitor to an area where familiarization training is given. Your company's security procedures will indicate what has to happen and you should follow what applies on your ship in this respect. Make the visitor aware of the operational status of the vessel and what activity is taking place. This guy will lead you okay, sir? Thank you very much. How about this situation? Hello, Good morning. Sir. Morning. Welcome on board. Thank you. What's your name and your purpose, sir? I'm a Michael Gray from Creston Marine. Creston Marine. The radar technician. Sir, can I see your foot ID? Of course. Okay. I forgot my ID. I've left it in my car. Oh, sorry, sir. You cannot come on board. Okay, no problem. I'll get it from my car, but I'll be five minutes. By insisting on the technician's photo ID, the watchman has acted properly. Never compromise your security procedures. So far, we have looked at legitimate visitors. But what about undesirable persons who try to get on board? When stopped by the watchman, how might they act? Hello, my friend. Morning. Hello. Oh. Welcome oh. on board. Thank you. Thank, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? My name? Huh? Uh, my name is Chris. I, I come to see Cook. Uh, Cookie, he give me, he gonna sell me cigarettes. Cookie give me cigarettes. No, no, no. May I see your foot ID? No, 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 no. no? I, I do have. I do have. I see Cookie. I see Cookie. Chief officer, chief officer, gangway emergency. One guy is intruded the board without, without permission. I require immediate assistance. Never attempt to forcibly detain a person. 
Moreover, do not leave the security check position to follow them, as this may be an opportunity for others to board in your absence. Raise the alarm and wait for assistance. Chief officer, make sure to leave the ship. A person boarding a vessel with the intention of robbery or perpetrating some other malicious act is very determined and may have weapons to assist them. If you suspect a visitor is of this type, treat them with great caution for your own safety. Alert the duty officer by radio and summon help immediately. We have seen four types of visitor to a vessel, which the watchman may have to deal with. Here is a short summary of what a watchman needs to know and how they should act. They need to know what their duties are, which then allows them to follow procedures. They need to be welcoming to all, but assertive with any person not on the visitor's list. They should never be afraid to call for advice or assistance when needed. Depending on the ship's security level at which you're operating, the Gangway Security Watch will have to undertake additional safety checks. This may include body and bag searches, increased security manning and access control. Your vessel may have scanning devices to assist with the searches. Ultimately, you may have to stop cargo and raise the gangway in the event of a high-level security alert. Relevant security and safety information should be prominently displayed on notices by the gangway for the advice of all those coming aboard. This will include restrictions on unauthorized persons and the bringing on board of prohibited objects, any prevailing security information and other applicable safety notices. We have seen how important the gangway security watch is, not only for the vessel and its cargo, but also for the crew members on board. When on the gangway, always follow the vessel's procedures and be assertive. In doing so, all the people on board will be able to live and work without danger or threat from others. Even though a port is required to provide a secure environment for any vessel, Security is ultimately the responsibility of the vessel and its crew. The gangway is the junction between the quayside and the vessel and is the primary means of access. This is where security starts. The gangway security watchman represents the master of the vessel and is in a very responsible position. The security watch should comply with the requirements of the ISPS code, depending upon the security level set in the port or by the vessel. A vessel has procedures that should be followed when a visitor wishes to board. This will include a visitor list and passes. Do not automatically allow a person not listed to board. Do not allow drunken or aggressive people on board. There is a requirement for a limited number of body and bag searches to be carried out. Be on the lookout for concealed weapons or dangerous substances. Never hesitate to call for assistance. An effective gangway watch can stop you and your shipmates from becoming victims of crime. <laughs>